Ah, one of life's simple pleasures, eating a delicious apple on a beautiful day such as this. Mm. Yes, I... Uh... <coughs> 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 It's a hell of a cough you've got there. Yes, I, uh, <clears throat> they say one of these a day keeps the doctor away. I wish that were true. I guess the person who came up with that idea didn't also smoke 40 a day. Otherwise they would have known they were pissing in the wind. Bastard doctor still don't know what I've got. <clears throat> oh, nothing quite as nurturing as having a delicious apple on a day like this. Would you like my other? No, thank you, sir. I'm, I'm fine. Well, but I insist it would, be, it would be a hell of a shame to waste it on a day like this. No, really, thank you. But I don't really like apples. You don't like apples? How can you not like apples? Apples are one of the most pleasurable fruits there is to eat in the whole world. They're grown almost everywhere. You can eat them in a pudding, in a snack, in a sauce. Why can't you like apples? Do you like work for an apple production farm or something? I was just had a bad experience with one once. <laughs> you had a bad experience with an apple? Well, not me, my mother. And what happened to your mother? Well, she... You know what? I don't really like talking about it. <laughs> you, you can't do that! I am now completely soaked with intrigue about an anecdote about your mother and an apple. You've got to tell. There should be some legislation in place to stop people doing things like that. Now come on, save us both some time. Okay, well... Years ago she was hiking in a farmer's field. It must have been about 10 years ago. I was only about 12. It was one of the hottest days on record, and for some reason, she was out taking a long hike in a farmer's field. She spotted this huge tree on the horizon, and, I don't know, I guess she decided to soak up some of the shade from it, get her strength back. So, there she was, in the shade, rehydrating herself, when, all of a sudden, there was a sound. And that was it. Paramedics tried to revive her, but... It was pretty much instantaneous. It was a good season for the apples, you see. So, they're abnormally large for that time of year. And it was a tall tree. And as she looked up, one just hit her on the wrong part of her head, broke her neck. And that was that. Well, that's quite a story. Shit, that's terrible. Who would have thought an apple could have done all that? I mean, a pumpkin, maybe. Or a coconut. I mean, you hear about things like that with coconuts, don't you? But, uh, an apple. Awful. Terrible. I'm so sorry. So sorry. So, now can you see why I don't like apples? Oh, as clear as this day, I can see why you don't like apples. But that's not the only reason, though, is it? Right? Well, no. I found out later from my grandmother that she was in that field that day picking some apples for a crumble I'd been pestering her to make. I used to love her cooking, especially her desserts. Ah, uh, yes. Julia's apple crumble didn't leave much to the imagination, did it? That delicate, tangy center woven beautifully with the sweet, biscuity crumble topping, mixed with just a dash of cinnamon. Exquisite. How... How do you know her name? Well, that she used cinnamon. She never used to use that for me. She told me. My dear boy, after that day, she made that crumble for half the people you can see in front of you right now. Including myself. Not one of the most dignified ways to go. Even she admitted that. She often used to joke about how she said it was better was her than 
say Isaac Newton, I guess, discovering the laws of universal gravity and making a mean apple crumble just aren't comparable in the grand scheme of things. Still, at least she had a story to tell at the end of it. I didn't go out with that much style. <coughs> ah well, at least there's no pain with it anymore. Just like there's no pain for her anymore, really. I don't know what you want me to say. This is absurd. What do you want? I just want you to eat this last apple. She's been banging on to me about how much you used to love them. You should celebrate how much her and her apples have made us, her friends, happy all these years. <laughs>